Pisces, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for August 26th all the way to September 1st. So welcome, Pisces. Here we are. Here we are. How are you feeling, Pisces? You enjoying your summer? Because I'm having a hard time realizing that it's almost over. <laughs> I can't do it. I just want two more two more months of summer. I had such a great summer this year. And I just don't want it to end. Because I don't want to sit in the house. I was out on my lawn more than anything. And out and about and, you know, oh, God, I love summer. I don't know. Do you feel that way? I mean, I'm just so bummed out. You know, it, it, I can't even say, you know, I hate to watch him leave, but I, I love to watch him go. No, can't even say that. It's just, no, I just want summer. All the time. And I'm pretty sure if you live in a different climate when you only have one season that you're probably like, oh, you got to appreciate the, you know, the change of the seasons. I can do without it. OK, I can watch it. I don't need to feel it. I just want to be in sunshine and sunshine, lollipops and rainbows. But it, it can't always be like that. That's life. So take a lesson from a stubborn Leo that refuses to accept the fact that I feel like a little kid that knows he's got to go back to school. I don't want, to, you know. Uh, and then it doesn't help that social media just, you know, just throws it in your face. It's time for fall, y'all. And it's just like, oh, God. I don't know. Uh-oh, another salty soliloquy by yours truly. All right, what do we got going on here? Ooh, a lot of twos already. Ooh, what's going on here? This is very short and sweet. What the fuck is going on here? All right, well, I shall tell you. Hmm. Okay, this is a weird reading. Boom. That's how it goes. Okay? We have the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands. These are, like, paired up to, to tell you exactly what's up. Two of Swords, get out of your indecision. This is mentally stuck. See how those girls are like, wah, 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 pulling your hair, confusing you. You're too busy, distracted with those thoughts. Those crows represent your thoughts. And they're distracting you from realizing that all you have to do is take off the fucking blindfold and take the action to make steps. You could be traveling around this time, making plans to travel. You've been putting this off. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> Get it going. Mercury is going to be going direct August 28th. So around that time, later this week, this would be a good time to start putting your plans into action. Now, Two of Pentacles is trying to juggle everything. It all comes down back to this. Get to work. Start making plans. Eight of Pentacles is be grateful for what you do, you've, where you've come so far and keep putting in that work. It's dedicated effort. You're very wishy-washy about what to do. It's all about self-confidence here. Shining as brightly as the sun. Do it. But this wishy-washiness is going to stall plans. It's going to keep back your abundance. So, hmm, weird things happen in here. Hopefully, Mercury, once it starts going direct, you'll start to see, you know, communications coming through plans start to move forward because you know it's time it's time to review but not to get stuck all right sacrifice this is let go of that set yourself free from this indec indecision you need to be truthful with yourself maybe you're not being truthful with yourself and use your spiritual strength i got this i got this and focus on balance see there's a huge thing of imbalance here focus on balance and life will become balanced in your reality you keep looking at all the indecision and imbalance well you get more of that it's that easy okay 
Let's get some oracles. More oracles. I'm not going to take that card. Usually I would, but I know that it wasn't shuffled properly. So let's do this. What do we got for Pisces? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Nope. Nope. Yep. Okay. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Oh, feeling alone. Uh oh. Sacrifice that, Pisces. Stop it. Stop it. Rest and reconsider. Okay. Another nine. Maybe that's what it is. You need some rest. But look at this. Look at this. Three aces, baby. New vitality, love abounds, and strengthening bonds. Look at that. Three aces. Eleven. Eleven. Pay attention to those numbers. Two, two, two. Eleven, eleven. Oof. Cards are speaking to you this week. Pay attention. Let's look at love. We're feeling good looking at It's getting out of this imbalance. It's pulling yourself out of this little happy rut you've put yourself in. Yeah, stressing out over it. You need sleep. There's definite. And another nine. Pay attention to 999. Nine, nine. You're almost there. Yep. Heartbroken. Feeling loss. Page of Swords brings in a new attitude, a new way of looking at said situation, and then it's going to be successful. So this is really asking you to let this go. You've probably already done this around the full moon. I hope so, you know. But this uh, new love will happen fast once you get out of this indecision and give yourself some time to recover. you got to be truthful with yourself, you know. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Look at that balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Okay. That's maybe what it, you got to say something. You got to say something. Absolutely. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So allow this beautiful energy into your life. Three, there's three uh, aces here. I mean, they're new beginnings. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. That's probably you. Spiritual strength. Fate. This is a destined partnership. No doubt about that. So open up to it. What's the imbalance here? You've got to work that out. Start focusing on balance and you will start to see things balance out. It's so easy. You would think the simplest things, you know, we always think that life's got to be complicated and it's not. It's really simple if you just go with the flow, you know, if you open yourself up. Okay, let's get a closing message for this. What do we got for Pisces? Protect. Pisces, you're being asked to protect yourself and your energy. It's okay to want to give to others, which you do effortlessly. It's important, though, that you set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. Now is the time to get some protection in place. And I think you need to protect yourself from your thoughts, too because they can undo everything that you're trying to put together. But when you start focusing on truth and balance, things will start to balance out and things move together much more swimmingly when we don't allow our thoughts to keep us up at night to get this, you know, that stress is moving through your body and that creates a chemical and then that creates a vibe, that creates a frequency and then the universe says, that is true. So you experience more of that. So align yourself. Pay attention to the numbers. 222, 999, 111, 11, 11. They're all here. Pay attention to it. Protect yourself from your thoughts and inject them with positive thoughts and spiritual strength and it will work out. All right, Pisces, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I am balanced in the comments. Um, three choices for personal readings in the description. Go ahead and check that out. And the freaking weekend on Wednesdays. And I will see you, Pisces, next week.